with another wig analysis on this bombshell of a unit here. I absolutely adore this one. This one is so beautiful, but it does have uh, one con that it may be a deal breaker for some of you, but um, it's not a deal breaker for me anyways. But let me just say happy Wednesday to everyone. I hope you are doing good in this pandemic, staying safe and everything like that. Make sure you wear your mask. And also, if you are new to my channel, hey girl, hey, make sure you subscribe. I would really, really love that. So this is a O unit right here, but I never tried it out and I do love this hairstyle. So I wanted to try it out. There's also another wig like this. It's a newer wig, but this is the old one. So it's a, a bit, uh, not pricier, but it is less in cost. So make sure you pick this one up if you like it. This is Janet Collection Extended Part Lace Base Deep Part. And the style of this one is called Gabriella, And it's in the color OT1B30. This is the wig on a model. It looks a little bit humped up on her, but when you get the wig, you know, it looks very nice. These uh, models look deceiving, so always keep that in mind if you wanna take a gamble on any wig that you get. So, actually there are two kinds. Let's get into the kinds first. So, this hair gets extremely, extremely frizzy, okay? I took it out the package and it was frizzy it got puffy um i did brush through it a little bit to kind of bring the frizziness together and i did add some mousse to it to kind of gather the frizziness and the hair into like one style instead of just being everywhere um it does come with this like piece here like it's kind of i wouldn't say humped up but it's a little bit just a little bit elevated so you may have to use your hot comb, but for me, I just added some mousse and kind of brushed it down. It doesn't look bad, but you know, if you're very, very um, tedious about your wigs, you may want to go ahead and flatten it out to to your liking. Okay, um, the wig does come with three combs, two at the side, one in the back. With the adjustable straps, you are getting metal combs with this unit, so you can use them to your discretion if you would like to. Um, as far as the hairline, it is, it's not bad. It's kind of rounded, but it's not too bad just in case you want to pull this hair back. Now, the parting is about a five inch parting. I did add my pressed powder here I got from Ulta. It is the Adjustable Coverage Foundation Wet slash Dry Press Powder. And if you wanna get this from Ulta, go ahead and do so. It's about eight to $10. So um, you get a quite a lot in there. So you can just add any powder this color of your skin complexion. Um, I, what I like about this uh, wig is the parting. Although it is a part, a uh, deep part, it doesn't come with any lace. So I like that, but it does have Swiss lace in the parting. And you do not get that line of de demarcation right there. So you don't have to worry about that. I know with some other wigs from this collection, it has a line of demarcation when you have just the lace parts without the lace on it, but this one doesn't. Um, so as far as the texture, ladies, this is a yakky texture. It's more shiny and silky at the top, so you can add some dry shampoo or some baby powder if you would like to. As far as shedding, um, this one's good on shedding. It, it's not giving me a lot of shedding and maybe that's because you don't have any lace to cut so keep that in mind but however this is a very full unit and it does get very very fluffy and puffy so you may want to keep your fingers out of this unit throughout the day i'm going to go ahead and give you a 360 the length on this one is about 16 to 18 inches stretch so let's give you a 360.
very, very, very bouncy. Um, it does move with you, so you don't have to worry about a stiff unit. Um, so yeah, let's see if you can put heat up to this one. Um, let's see. It says high re uh, heat resistant fiber up to 360. Um, so this one can't stand a lot of heat. So I would just say maybe go to 200 just to be safe. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Let's talk about the cap size. I'm sorry. The cap size is a medium to large. More on the medium side though. It does have a bit of stress to it. So just keep that in mind just in case you want to buy it and try it out if you have a bigger head. I I would say it may fit, so just keep that in mind as well. And this is all for this unit, ladies. I hope you pick it up if you like it. Um, if you can get over those two cons, which is the frizziness um, and that elevated part right here, which is not too bad in my opinion. It can be fixed, but the only thing that's really major, a major con for me is the frizziness. This will not last long. The longevity on this one will probably be, I would say, two weeks, maybe a month if you take real good care of it. So, yeah, that's about all. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching, and thank you to all my old subscribers. And make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.